we're supposed to be on the same side, man. And listen, I'm as guilty as anybody for getting involved in these beefs until I had to wake up and say, okay, Donovan, you're looking like a fucking idiot. Because listen, while you might not agree fundamentally, you've got a Y chromosome just like everybody else. And at the end of the day, you're on the same side. Just because you disagree fundamentally with 0.01% of what their philosophy is or what their way of life is, doesn't mean you just blow the whole thing up. Right. If 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 a lot of these guys would just set this feminine to decide, and I had to check myself, I had to say, all right, Donovan, you're acting like a fucking female. It's time to act like a man. Exactly. If more guys actually did this and reached out like you and I did, hey, right, yep. we have a disagreement. Let's hash it out on the air. It's worked out beautifully, and now right. we have an understanding. But guys don't want to do that. Guys are guys are always nipping and fighting about something. And that's the main reason why the manosphere hasn't blown. Dude, we're men. Of course, we can create something huge. But what's holding us back is us. And it's sad. Yeah. Well, I think about the things that you get accused of. I'm mm -hmm. thinking of the things that that comes across or, you know, because I, I don't watch everyone, but they'll say this person said this about you. And I'm like, are we really talking about this? Like, this is cannot be the most important thing. And you're right, right about this. Women aren't the ones coming on here talking crap about a nope. uh, 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 men here Not it is anymore. other men it, it, it it's mind-blowing when i see uh you know maybe uh in the the chats uh the chats of the when i do streams it is men yes coming in attacking saying the things that women will say yes. and let me tell you something some of this energy can be seen right now out in the world of Ooh. the way they're handling this current situation they're not it ready for this very, <laughs> I, 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 I i i knew we were probably gonna go there but i'm gonna take it there do it man it's, Feminine energy, the lack of planning, the emotional reaction. Oh my god, dude. The the not the lack of understanding of how what it really takes to actually make a change. That's happening right out now in the yeah. field, and we can see it. And it and we're a microcosm of that that's because right. that's where we're going next. Because because at the end of the day, we would like to see change in the laws in women and how they are, you know, how they don't have accountability with feminism. We would love to see that. I would love those marches and those protests to be about us. However, we actually have a plan. Some of these people don't have a plan. They out there going, uh, tearing each other down. Yep. And not only that, they're allowing other organizations and agenda to co-opt them oh my God. and use them for the original purpose to go and do and dictate what they've already planned ahead to do and now the people out there with this feminine injury they, they don't even know what's going to hit them here you don't to realize it. this this is what i want to say on this when people want to seek solutions it is often uh you can recognize who's the leader in the community by the subject matters that they want to avoid when you provide mm -hmm. solutions well said okay yep. so if i say well listen um, this is an emotionally charged situation. We shouldn't go out there. There are ways that we can help the community if this is what we want to do. And they say, nope, that's off the table. We can't discuss. Wow. And I say, really? OK, we, we're not discussing this right now. No, we're only. We're, and so then I say this. I say, listen, when I'm talking about feminism, when I'm talking about white women, black women, whatever it is, when I'm talking about women, oftentimes if I just change, if you listen to their arguments and you right. just changed everything they said and said women and men instead of black and white. It is the exact same argument yeah. that I argue against every day here on this show. Oh my God. And I say, I'm arguing against feminism, not taking accountability on their own side. You can't just say men need to change. And this is what I'm hearing their argument is. White people need to change. Cops right. need to change. Okay, right. well, what are you going to change? Oh, you're not going to change nothing? Okay, you're not responsible? You're not accountable in this situation? And so at that point, I say, well, I'm not in this debate. Okay. Wow. If you're going to shut me down and say we can't say what we need to do now or it's ain't the time to discuss this or it doesn't matter what they did. Oh, OK, well, what you did was made the same argument that I argue against every day against feminism. And right at that point, I said, you're not looking for solutions nope. right now. You're looking to place the blame 100 percent or you're not open to 100 percent solutions. And then that's when they start calling me a coon, Uncle Tom and sell yep. out. And then I say, I thought all black, all lives matter. Or oh, like, oh, like, right. now my black life don't matter now. So again, see, I'm a I'm a I'm a logical person. I'm right. a balanced person. Yep. I'm a I process the information that I'm given, and then I try to find a solution. Sometimes the solution is not going to be in favor of me, and that's okay. Right, it's okay. Like that. Right, just like Whopper that. with a bunch of numbers says I think what leads people to the black pill is hatred and negativity. Basically, the same things that lead to all bad, evil things in society today. They blame instead of finding a solution. 
This is exactly what you were talking about. And, and it's not like, listen, African-Americans have a reason to be pissed off. That pissed off a lot of people. But the reaction is what's making us look really bad, man. What do you think of this guy's comment? Uh, yeah, I think when you don't accept blame and you're just allowing uh, uh, other people to take the blame. And I, I, I just don't I, I just don't respect that. I don't respect that process at all because everybody has skeletons in their closet. Everybody knows when they're messing up. And to say right now that it doesn't matter, um, I, I'm not with that. I'm not with that 100 percent. So, yeah, that's that's just the, but the, uh, somebody else said this and I want to follow up on that. OK, he was talking about uh, the defunding the police. I yeah. mean, come on, man. Where are we going? Yeah. Bro, where the hell are we going? You want me to get on here? <laughs> you want me to get on with your movement? And you had a chance, a semblance of a chance to get on with your movement. And this is where we've gone. See, this is yeah. when you realize your movement and your protests have been co-opted by, by people that you continue to empower. That's right. That had this plan from the beginning. You don't, yeah. you can't tell me these people haven't talk, talked about defunding the police and bringing in their own SS army Woo. in their community in order to further place uh, handcuffs on you. You think the you think the SS army is um, you think the police are bad? Just wait till the SS army comes <laughs> into your community. And that's what they're going to implore when they defund the police. See, this is the type of thing that I don't I don't get. I can't deal with people who don't have a solution before they go out there to fight. Okay? Jesus. You go out there to fight, you don't have a solution. I can't I can't that's get what it. Women I can't. Do. That's what women do, man. Um, Technomage B5, $10 super chat says, there's an American saying, united we stand, divided we fall. We need to close ranks with fellow men who have the receipts for helping each other if we are to survive out here. Real talk. Yep. Uh, Myron Gaines said, the world is already against guys like us. The last thing we need is haters on dudes like Joker. Whether you agree or not, he's helping men when no one else cares in this blue pill social exactly. for your world. Exactly. 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 I mean, what do you do yeah. it? Yep. Uh, Paul Daniel, $5 Super Chat says, for the respect to Joker, never mind people's differences, find a way to communicate like Joker and this YouTube algorithm. We aren't women. Joker, listen, he has cracked the code. He's cracked right. the code. He has figured out a way to spread red pill truth without and actually have it thrive. It's 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 incredible. Uh, Crash 816, $5 Super Chat says, I've been thinking about red pill streaming. I'm a lawyer and the coach saved my financial life. Do you think I will risk too much by streaming? Yes. Yep. Now, listen. Be that, ready for it. But again, what, what is it worth to you, right? Yep. You need to be at a point in your, because I tell guys this all the time. Everybody wants everybody wants to be a content creator, but you need to understand this is not easy. Guys, I work every day. I'm putting in 80 plus hours a week. You want to know something? Yes. I can't get, dude, I can't get a job anywhere in America. You're I'm, done. I'm done. You're That's done. It. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Dude, it's soon, dude, all they would have to do, they wouldn't even, they, all they would have to do is to take a picture of me and do a Google image search. And, oh, Donovan Trump, oh my God. No. It's I'm, over for you. I'm done. Maybe I can get a job as a janitor if nobody knows who the hell I am, but that's the even in. Yeah, where? Yeah. See, that's the thing people underestimate that uh, you know, this is easy. Mm. You know, we making a video, uh recording it is is simple because we can do that. We have the gift of gab. Right. But then you talk about uh, providing a surrounding that people will find uh, pleasing to the eye, making sure your sound is good, editing, uploading, okay, picking a thumbnail that everybody ain't going to say, why you don't have any black people in your thumbnail? I mean, bro, there's a whole bunch going on behind the scenes that you guys don't know. And not only that, I can't get another job. See, fortunately, I'm self-employed. Right. But think about it. I'm at an age where... I'm, I'm comfortable with the fact that I ain't going back to corporate America. So, I mean, I'm going to make this training business work as long as I can. And 80% of my clients know about my content. That's the crazy thing. Wow. Get out of they here. Know. They know. I mean, they know. I mean, they'll find out. I'm not hidden. Dude, all they have to do is have their phone number. Google uh, have my phone number in their phone. Yeah. And go on Instagram. I'm going to be suggested. There you go. You know what I mean? So yeah. then they're going to click and go, damn, what is, the, you know, what is this guy talking about? And not one client has came back and said, I'm no longer training with you based on there your you company. You not go. one, because they know what value I bring to them. Now, it, you know, I can't say I can ride that wave out or if I lost that training business, am I going to be able to go to a gym and work at 24 hour fitness? Nope. Nope. Probably not. <laughs> First, it was no means yes. Now it's yes means no, dude. 
Oh my God. That is, just don't listen to women. Don't listen to anything no. they talk about. No. All right. They ain't trying to make sense of anything. And they don't lose. They don't lose. They don't, they're not held accountable with, for what they say. Nope. What's the hell the point? When it comes down to it, just watch their actions and understand handling them is like handling a venomous snake because at some point you might be able to manage it a little bit, but with, with society, they give them a pass. So if they bite you, they're not gonna cut the head off the snake. Yeah. They just gonna let it go. You know, they just gonna be like, okay, you, you shouldn't have been handling the snake. Just know that's what you're getting into with them. Right. Good answer. What you have to understand is a lot of guys say, if I knew then, if I if I knew then what I know now, my life would be a lot better. Chances are it probably would be, but think about this. The cool guys, the 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 guys that slayed all the pussy in high school, the 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 basketball players, the football players, you know where they're at now? They're getting raped in divorce court. That's exactly it. Yeah. Listen, they had all the game in high school. Right. But there's but they're, they don't they don't they don't know about the system. Right. They're That's having right. unprotected sex with their peers. They have a couple of kids. OK, no big deal. Well, guess what? Less than one half of one percent of all of all high school athletes go to go to play division one schools. And, dude, a small percentage of that goes pro. Right. right. So what men have to understand is this. You find the red pill when you're ready to find it, whether it's at age 18, 38, or 48. You have to understand that you consume things very differently from a young age. It's almost like like Rolo says, kids with dynamite. Like, holy shit, I have the keys to every woman's panties I want. As a 23-year-old, just because you know how to sleep with, with hot women doesn't mean you're always going to be responsible. Right. Yep. Yep. True. And, and I think for me, for me, I think financially, I think... Um, you know, some of these ideas, a lot of people think that I developed these ideas after my marriage failed or after a couple of dating bad dates. I actually had these ideas in mind, but there was no support system like we have today. There right. was no there was no red pill content that we could just turn on. So what happened was I just kept all these thoughts to myself and said, maybe I'm bugging. All right. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> right? So I'm like, maybe I'm tripping off something. And then 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 eventually then that led me into saying, let me give marriage a chance and all that stuff. Maybe I wouldn't have got married. Maybe not. Who knows? Right. Who knows? But I think I probably would have been better off financially for sure. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah.